let's start our discussion of the ARM instruction set. Um, briefly, the ARM uh, architecture has gone through several different versions. We'll concentrate on ARM 7 here. Uh, the assembly language for ARM is fairly standard. Here's an opcode, some operands. A comment starts with a semicolon, goes to the end of the line. Labels start in column 1. Um, if you remember, the programming model is the set of registers that's visible to the programmer. Uh, the main registers in the programming model we'll be concerned with are the general purpose registers R0 through R15 and the current program status register. Uh, the current program status register holds several different bits. Um, the ones we're, we're most concerned with here are um, the bits that relate to uh, the results of arithmetic uh, operands, uh, negative, zero, carry, and overflow, the NZ, CV bits. Also notice that R15 is used as the program counter, so you really can't ins use it for other types of uh, uses. It will, you can use the same instructions on it, but uh, you should not use it to store other values because that will change what uh, instructions executed next. Okay, so um, endianness uh, refers to the relationship between the order of bits and the order of uh, bytes and words. Um, and the uh, ARM can support both little endian and big endian operation. Uh, operation. So in little endian, uh, bit 0, which we uh, put over here on the uh, right, um, is located in byte 0, and bit 31 is located in byte 3. In a bit uh, big endian, uh, bit 0 and byte 0 are on the left, and so bit 31 is actually in byte 3. Okay. So as we just saw, an ARM word is 32 bits long. It can be divided into four 8-bit bytes. Um, an address is also 32 bits long. Now these addresses refer to bytes. So in fact, um, for instance, address 4 it would refer to byte 4 uh, or word, uh, the, the second word in memory. Um, and the machine can be figured at power up to be either little endian or big endian. So every arithmetic, logical, or shifting operation sets the um, negative, zero, carry, and overflow bits. These have fairly standard interpretations. Right? So for example, if we add negative 1 and 1 to get 0, the NCCV bits look like this. If we um, take 2 to 31 minus 1 and add 1, then the NC, NZCV bits look like this. Um, data instructions include things like addition. Um, so the basic format here is uh, an add opcode. Um, the the uh, values of registers R1 and R2 are added together and the result is put in register R0. Uh, we can also use immediate operands. These are small operands that aren't taken from a register but they're directly in the um, instruction. They're basically constant. So here we take the value that's stored in register R1, add 2 to it, and store the result in R0. Um, ARM has a number of um, data instructions for different types of adding, subtracting, multiplication, uh, logical operations, shift operations, and rotate operations. Uh, the logical shift fills with zeros. Arithmetic shift fills with ones. RRX performs a 32-bit rotate that includes the carry bit. Okay. There are several comparison instructions. Uh, for, for example, compare, negative compare, bitwise test, bitwise negated. Okay. And these uh, instructions set only the NCCV bits of, of the status register. They don't change the general purpose registers. A move instruction, um, for example, will move uh, a value from one register to another. Here you take the value from R1 and move it to R0. Load store instructions are the only way to access memory. Uh, you can load a word, you can load a half word, load a byte. Similarly, you can store a word, half word, or a byte. 
ARM supports several different addressing modes. Uh, register indirect takes the value of the register, uses that as the address. Uh, you can do that with a second register. So here you take R1 and uh, add the negation of R2. Or you can take the register and add a constant to it, a, um, a literal. Okay. Uh, the ADR pseudo-op is one uh, interesting uh, aspect of the ARM instruction uh, assembly language. Uh, you cannot directly refer to an address in an instruction. Um, so um, you um, generate a, a, the uh, value of an address by performing arithmetic on the program counter and you use the ADR pseudo-op to express this in a general way that doesn't require you to write a non-obvious code. Okay. So for instance the ADR uh, pseudo-op will take the uh, address of label foo and put that in register R1. 